Hey there, I'm Matt from the Magnolia Company, and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how to prune your magnolia tree. I'm using this tree as an example because a lot of times in, in the landscape, you're gonna get trees that are gonna kinda of do their own thing and, and kinda of wanna grow the way they wanna grow. If you want a more uniform tree, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And on this one, you can see I've got a lot of height to it, and I'm pretty sparse in the middle here. So when I prune these, these heavy top branches, all that energy is going to be pushed down into these lower in these lower branches. The buds that are not pruned will eventually become thicker and the tree will just become a little bit more dense. A lot of that energy would have gone through that tip, but by controlling those big tips there, we're going to push a lot of this energy into these lower branches. And I like to come and get the extremities of even some of these lower branches because it'll, it'll dent it up even more. So you can see I'm gonna come in here and control all this right here. You'll notice that all the new growth is gonna come out of the buds that are every leaf node that has not been cut. That bud right there is gonna be the next new shoot that flushes off. I'll just keep cutting with these pole pruners and, and we'll come back to this tree in about four months and you'll be able to see how much it's pushed out. So you can see how I'm cutting all these growing points, these growing tips, and that's gonna force energy out into these lower buds. And that's how I'm gonna dense this tree up into, into more of a topiary form. What was tall and gangly in the beginning will turn into a nice, dense, uniform looking tree after this next spring flush.